thank you for coming to the Amber Shows. Today I am so excited that I have my cousin, who I call my little nephew because he's a little bit younger than me, um, Asani. He is going to talk with me on the show. He's very informative. How old are you, Asani? Twelve. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Isn't he fine? Okay, young girls, just be careful. You cannot have him. He's not only a black young gentleman that's growing up, he's also half Japanese. And he speaks fluent Japanese. Can y'all take it? Say something in Japanese, please. Say, um, hello, everybody. How are you? Konnichiwa, doya. Konnichiwa, doya? Yeah. What's konnichiwa? Hello, and then you say, I guess you'd say good, good evening. So you'd say, konnichiwa, uh, the konbanwa. Konnichiwa. Ko konnichiwa, and then konbanwa. Konbanwa. Ko huh? Konbanwa. Konbanwa. Okay, so um, you guys gotta get, you know, you gotta get better in life because <laughs> <laughs> tell your age. Twelve. He's 12 years old, he's international. He spends his summers in Japan with his mom, my uh, cousin. Uh, from Little Rock, Arkansas. This is his son, Sydney. <laughs> and that's his dad, and that's my cousin. And he, they, him and his mom have, have raised him so well. So let's talk about basketball. What's going on? What are you interested in? Uh, I don't know. We just finished the finals. Okay. So uh, I was kind of sad that the Raptors lost. Even I mean, one side. I was kind oh, of sad that Golden State lost. Because who? I like Golden State, but at the same time, I do like, Ka uh, I like Kawhi Leonard a lot. You do? Yeah. What do you think about Steph Curry? He's a really good shooter. And, and but I don't want to be a shooter. I like taking lamps more than shooting. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. And what about um, LeBron James? Is he the, is he the GOAT? Is he the, be the greatest player of all time? Mm -hmm. In your generation? Yes. Okay. And you want to play professional basketball? Yeah. And what, what are you taking up in school right now? Uh, right now I'm doing summer camp for basketball and lacrosse. Oh, good. Okay. And in Japan, do you have, um, is there a different sport there? What type of sports that are physical that you're interested in Japan? In Japan, they're really good at baseball, but I don't like baseball. And they're not that good at basketball, but I guess soccer. Soccer? soccer is going up. Do you like, play soccer? Yeah, but I don't want to play. What, what, what is lacrosse? lacrosse? Explain what lacrosse is. Well, lacrosse is where you have a stick and has like a little net in the back and you have to like catch a ball and the goals. It's a team sport, but it's really fun. So this is what I talk about on my show a lot. Parents have to be involved with their children and teach them all types of things. Um, it's important because this 21st century, these are not real children that are born. These are small adults. They absorb, their brains are like sponges. They absorb everything. This young man is a black man growing up in America who's part Japanese, speaks Japanese, and guess what? He's my cousin. <laughs> and look, who has dimples? <laughs> who has dimples? <laughs> Me and you. <laughs> Um, thank you for coming to the Amber Shows. I just wanted to show off my fabulous nephew and let you guys know, get your children on their game. Uh, having two languages uh, is very important now in the 21st century because we have a diversified world and it's important, it's not just, you know, Spanish is, you know, a lot of people know Spanish, a lot of people know French, but to get into a market where you can really make some money, there are languages that are supposedly hard that you can learn, where you can actually even, you know, be hired in all types of situations. So, thank you so much, Asani. I really appreciate you. Can, are you there? Thank you, guys. Okay, and you have a wonderful day, and I'm so proud of you. Thank you.